on a range of 55 to 65 degree Fahrenheit at a, at a depth of 60 to 180 feet, I think, for this particular lake, okay? So for this class, I'll show you how to make changes to an existing system, existing HVAC system. We have fan curl unit systems at zone equipment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the exact same uh, air loop for ventilation requirement. All I'm going to do is going to change the zone equipment to uh, water source heat pumps connected with them associated plant loops and then in the simulation. Okay, so if you have something like water source uh, or water lake as uh, a source for extraction and dissipate of heat and so what you need to do is you need to create either a, a loop a separate loop with uh, infinite capacity for cooling as well as for heating or you can just attach them to uh, the, for the generic chillers or hot water boilers but then you need to manipulate with their efficiencies as well as their capacity okay again there are different ways to do it i'm just going to show you the easiest way which is uh, just um, assume water lake as a district heat and uh, district cooling source with infinite capacity okay uh, if it's district heating and district cooling it's going to be a hundred percent efficient okay it actually works kind of ideal air load okay but a lot of times uh, your facility managers can provide you different inputs uh, for efficiencies and other things so the, the method that I'm going to show you here is the easiest method, but again, you have to manipulate or you have to customize your own uh, HVAC system based on your design. Okay. All right.